Hello, thank you for joining me for today's Facebook Live. My name is Tracy Held. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Melbourne, in Australia, and this is my regular Sunday stamping session. The card that we're going to make today is that one. And this is using one of the new stamp sets in the mini catalogue. It's the Wildlife Wonder stamp set. Now, I don't know, some of you may know my husband's name is Wolfgang. So, of course, as soon as I saw a stamp set that had a wolf in it, it had to go onto my I need the stamp set list. And this is one of the ones which when he saw it, he was, you have to get that stamp set. So, I got it. And I have to say that although the wolf is beautiful, I'm loving the bear. I'll come up, you'll see that there's a few bears that I've made, well, bears, that I've made cards with bears, because that bear is beautiful. The other stamp set that I'm using today is The Beauty of Friendship. So this is an older one, that's from the annual catalogue. And it just works really well with the animals. And I'm also using the grey paper from the... Simply Marvelous um, Celebration. Now this one, I've been a bit iffy with the grey because I wasn't quite sure whether I liked it or whether I was finding it a little bit boring. But it works perfectly here. So I've decided that I do like the grey. You can use it in specific circumstances. And it does work well. So let's get started. I've got a piece of garden green cardstock. We're just going to fold that in half. I just want a sheet of paper because we're going to be stamping a bit over the edge here. With my garden green ink. I'm stamping the the beauty of friendship has got the bigger and the smaller trees and some have are a bit more leafy those you could stamp over as accent pieces I've just got the smaller one and I'm just stamping it along the top so that we're getting a bit of that tone on tone to make it a bit exciting on the top and then I'm taking this splotchy piece from the wildlife wonder now here's something which I haven't noticed before my husband just commented on it he says that that splotch there is the bear's shadow you know where that's that's its nose and its feet so I hadn't looked at it like that before I've just seen it as a background or like path or grass or just you know so I'm going to give it a shot and see how it works as a shadow. But for now, we're just making it some texture along the bottom over there. Let me put that aside for the moment. And now we're going to stamp on the DSP. So what I've done is I've cut the DSP to the same length across so for me that's 14.9 centimeters if you're working in inches that would be your five and a half inches sorry when i said inches for me i meant 14.9 centimeters and then i've cut it in half so that's 7.6 centimeters or it would be three inches and then I've got my early espresso ink and I'm going to just stamp some trees across here. There's no specific distance or where they're going, they're just going across but I am stamping them at different heights as we're going. Ooh, that one didn't stamp very well at all. Let's see if I can 
that's okay it is a bit double stamped but once I put the the leaves over you're not going to notice and then I'm going back with my garden green for the little ones and just to get some variation in the colors of the trees I'm using shaded spruce for the bigger ones and I normally don't bother with cleaning because I just clean all the stamps afterwards but I need to change colors here so I just needed my cleaning scrub okay before I put that away let's just quickly stamp I'm going to do a tree on, oops, okay, that was me throwing the inks around. I'm just going to do a tree for the inside of the card as well. Because we have to have the inside stamped. I know you know the rules here. Okay, I can't do that, sorry. I, I rocked the, the tree probably because this block is too big. But, so that's a tip for you is when you're putting your, your stamps on blocks, try and use one that's about the same size as your stamp because then you're not going to rock it and get smudges and extra ink over the stamp. But, Okay, we'll just do another one. All right, so that's our inside done. Then I'm going to take some crumb cake. You can just go to the side for a moment. And again, with this shadow or splotch or whatever, you know, groundy bit, I'm just going to stamp some along the bottom over there and the last thing that we need to stamp is our wolf so I'm using basic grey for him and I've just cut a piece of cardstock that's seven by seven centimeters I'm not sure what that is in inches, but I can. So it's about two and a quarter inches. We're going to cut it out anyway. Um, I don't need this anymore. Now, the wolf stamps beautifully when you stamp him. He just. I mean, look at that. Can you not just see him being completely lazy lying in the sun? And then we're going to cut him out with one of the layering circles. Now, this circle is just fractionally smaller than the wolf, so you can just position it where you want it. So, you know, either you can have him like that where you're just cutting off a tiny little bit of the paw or have the paw in and you're cutting off a bit of a of the rock but that all fits together and when it's cut out it's going to look like that now we've got all our stamping done so we can assemble our card so the insert can go inside
And then our DSP. I don't know how often you do those actually stamping directly onto your DSP. I must admit I don't do it that often. But I think that I need to try doing it a bit more because it is really effective. Right, so we're sticking this as we've got some of the trees and some of the ground along the top, just giving our card that bit of interest with the texture. And I didn't stamp my sentiment, did I? Okay. All right, so let's quickly clean this off again because we're changing colors again. And I've got some strips. These are just, you know, like a half an inch, or I think that's about 1.2 centimeters. It's just off cuts that I have when I cut my my card stock up. I just keep those strips because sometimes they work really well. So we're going to take the sending birthday wishes and I'm going to stamp that sentiment in the grey. Now this does fit pretty well um, on that strip. There we go. And then we're going to take our little splotchy bit again. And this time I'm just going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp it over my words. I'm not worried about that smudge there because it's going to be hidden. We're not going to see that. Close all the ink pads because otherwise I definitely will stick my hands right into them and my hands are already covered in ink. Now I'm just going to cut that off at an angle and we can stick the sentiment onto our card. Now I've cut out a piece of the garden green, so this is also from my layering circles and it's the one that's just slightly bigger than the circle that I'm using. So don't, if I hold them together you can see it's just going to peep out around the edges and that's exactly what it does. So we're going to stick our wolf onto the circle. The one thing that I like about working on circles is that you never have to worry about getting it straight because if it's crooked you just turn your circle and it fits. It well it straightens. So that's okay. It's a couple of dimensionals. Well, a couple being three dimensionals on the back over here. And we can stick that onto our card. And there's our wolf lounging around in amongst the trees. Doesn't he look like he's having an absolutely perfectly lazy fun day? And I think that these are really nice for masculine birthday cards. I know we always battle with masculine cards, but the stamp set gives us the perfect masculine look. So I hope that you've enjoyed these cards. If you've got the Beauty of Friendship stamp set, use it with this Wildlife Wonder because they work so well together. Those are our cards for today. Have a great week and I will see you next week. Until then, happy crafting. Bye.